Hi everybody, it's Lene. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel today. Today we are going to be using a file folder to make a file folder folio. Whew. Glad I didn't mess that up this time. There may or may not have been a few recordings before this where I didn't quite make it. So we're going to be using the file folder, which I bought at the Dollar Tree in a package of 12. And I love shopping for bases and surfaces at the Dollar Tree because they're, inexpens they're inexpensive and they're accessible to all of you. And this just gives us 12 opportunities to do that. So I'm also going to be using a nesting place, 12 by 12 patterned cardstock from Hot Off the Press. I love this for spring, you guys. It is gorgeous. It's got all of these little, vignettes perfect for cutting out cutting apart that's what they're designed to do and that is perfect for card making or for making this folio beautiful i love this one look at that bird in flight it's got that great watercolor look inside it's got all these wonderful cutouts I'm also using the coordinating die cuts for the tags and things like that. Um, let's see, a pencil, a ruler, your favorite paper glue, and a bone folder, really nice to have. Also a paper trimmer if you have one. So today I'm not going to be using a scoreboard because not everybody has a scoreboard, especially one that's 12 by 12. I don't have one that's 12 by 12. So I'm going to be doing the folding on this without doing scoring, without doing a lot of measuring, okay? So if you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll remember measuring and I are just bleh. So open up your folio. I'm using one, you guys, for this file folder. It has the little tab in the center. It doesn't matter where your tab is, we're gonna cut it off. Don't, don't worry, we're, we're gonna use it again, but we're gonna cut it off. And then we're going to measure four and three quarters of an inches from the bottom. So all the way across four and three quarters of an inch. All right, and now we're gonna actually turn this over. And here's why. I like to do my folding when there's a measuring mark. I like to, doing, like to do it from the outside because when you're folding from the inside, you can't really see where you're folding. So seeing that line on the outside is really helpful. And don't worry, it's pencil, it'll just erase. All right, so there is our fold line. Now we're gonna have a little bit of creasing, a little bit of wrinkling in this, and that's okay because it's gonna get inked and it's gonna get covered with paper. So. Oops, speaking of which, there goes my anchor. All right, now we're gonna just take that bone folder. If you don't have a bone folder, the back of a butter knife, some scissor, back of, back of the scissors <laughs> works great on this. All right, so there's where we are so far. Now, I've also marked that little tab. We're gonna cut that off because not everybody is working with the tab in the same place. Use what you have, you guys. And we're gonna reuse this. We're gonna take the tab back later. All right, so now you can fold it. I'm folding it back over this line. It doesn't make any difference. All right, so my little things right here can be on the outside. They can be on the inside. It just doesn't make any difference. So I'm gonna go like this. So all my little things like this, those little non-tabs, <laughs> what are those called? Those are on, gonna be on the left-hand side. And then this side is just kind of straight. So when we fold this in half, you guys, it's not gonna fold perfectly aligned because remember, file folders have those little gussets that are there and it's also leaving room for that tab that we just cut off. So we need to make this even. Okay, I feel like I need to do that some more. There we go. All right, so this part is the trickiest part for me anyway, because you're moving this over, you're making sure the top and bottom are aligned, and you're making sure this part is aligned. In the meantime, you got this thing going on. Okay, and yes, this is be a good spot to score if you have a scoreboard, but I'm assuming you don't have a scoreboard. We have lots of new people to our channel. 
and I'm just trying to accommodate them. So you're just kind of pinching that down while you're holding this side even over here. There we go. So mine kind of slipped. There we go. All right, there we are. Now, we're gonna go ahead and take the outside edges and fold them towards the center. We're not gonna fold them right exactly on that center, all right? We want to give this space, give a little space to move around. So, this one goes over here. Okay, I'm gonna draw a line here because we do have this new score right over here and we've got the old score line. We just wanna make sure we get it on the right one and I almost did it wrong. So I wanna make sure that we see the new place where we scored. I'm just gonna mark it a little bit like that. There, now it's gonna show up better. And I'm folding over to that line and I'm just right-handed so I have to score <laughs> with my bone folder with my right hand. I don't know why. All right, and then we're just gonna kind of pinch, pinch, pinch. Like that. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. So you're leaving like, like a, I mean, it's less than a 16th of an inch of wiggle room along that fold. Most important thing is, is don't overlap those edges. Okay, so yeah, it's got room in there. Like this, like this, and those edges are gonna be flush. Now that's why we took the tab off, because if you're trying to do all that and accommodate this tab, it can really throw you off. So I like to do it like this. Now you guys, you can fold this like this, go across. I like to fold it like this so that when, when you're opening it, it's just, it just feels like it's not as much work to me. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do that. Now that's good. All right. I like that. So the next thing we're going to do is start to ink the edges. And I love an inked edge. And my favorite thing to ink with, especially if I'm using papers with a lot of brown as a fryer brown ink, this is Harmony Water Reactive ink. It means it's water-based. I don't use it for that. Just any brown ink will work. Any of your favorite brown inks. The other thing is we're gonna pick up, pick out one of these papers to go on the cover. And stick around to the end of the video, you guys, because I'm gonna tell you how you can win this folio for your very own. I forgot to mention that at the top of the video. Very important to uh, see how you can win it. I love to give away my projects. I don't want to keep them. I like to share them with my new subscriber friends, well, my all of my subscriber friends. So we'll tell you how to do that at the very end of the video. We're also gonna be making some cute stuff to put inside of it. So we've got this cute little bird nest going on up here. I think I might put that on the inside. We've got this cute little one right here. I like how this bird is looking in, so that would be so cute to put on the right side of the inside of the folio. I love this little guy right here. And then we've got the birdhouse. I'm thinking that birdhouse would look really beautiful on the front of this folio. I love that. And then we've also got this beautiful little flower. So for cutting the paper, because I'm going to do this off camera so we can be quick. I like to just do this and then leave a border around it and then trim it with my paper trimmer to reflect that so it has a border all the way around. So I'm going to cut up some paper and ink some edges and then we'll be right back. All right, all of the inked edges are done front and back. Don't forget to get in between the sections. All right, and now I've got my paper cut down as well. 
once we get everything covered, because we are going to cover some things on the inside, then we're going to glue things in place. So let's get started and do what's going to be the front cover. I've got this inked as well. And then we're going to flip this open. We've got the inside front cover. And here we've got a little bit of a notch at the top right corner. And what I did for that is I just put this behind here and I just sort of trace that and then made that little notch. Don't worry about the bottom corner here because another piece of paper is going to cover that and it's going to straighten everything out. We're just kind of ignoring some of those little bits that are wonky right here for now okay so we have this side oops and I did the same thing with this little notch right here I just made an accommodation for that cut it out a little bit all right and and this one, I have love all these little bird houses. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna open that up. That's what it's gonna look like on the outside. And now we wanna cover the insides of these pockets. But listen, we don't need to cover them all the way. I'm just going to go a little ways down. Why waste all that paper? I have inked the edges on these on three sides so that they'll show. And, ooh, crash. There goes the ink applicator. Okay, now I am going to go ahead Cut a little bit away from this one, from that little notch. That's gonna go right there. Gonna do the same on this side. Don't need much cut away, just a little bit. imagine this folio being a really special gift for a friend I imagine it if I kept this that I would fill it with post-it notes <laughs> I'm forever looking for my post-its and it would be nice to have a place to put them and I'm going to show you how to accommodate those shortly so right here I'm going to cut this one down I didn't put any pattern on this one but I liked that one and I liked that one and I liked this one there, okay. This one I'm leaving plain for a reason. And if you're gonna cover these pockets with a lot of tags and things like that, you might also want to save the little pretty ones for something else and just use the backs of the paper that don't have anything on them, just the pretty backs. But I'm going to let these really just shine. Oops, I forgot to cut one. We're going to trim this one off before we glue it down. All right, so this one right over here, I thought I was all set to do with this and then I thought, how cool to make a pocket on top of a pocket. So we're going to go ahead And we're going to just cut away, tear away, that right there. 
and I ink that, we still have our little flower scene there. And then I've got this other piece of the wood grain, you could use either side, cut there, and that can go right on top. And then we're gonna have this cute little pocket. But I'm gonna go ahead and trim away this part right here, ink that, right there. And you'll see here, I'm just covering, backing this little part from the front with the back. And then this one, we're gonna just do those three sides, leave the tear part open. And that's just gonna be left open. All right, so normally I would let this dry, but let's take a look at that. So you're gonna open it, it's gonna go like that. Okay, so while that's setting up, wanted to show you. I've got a little post-it pad here. It's not a full post-it pad because I didn't want to put a lot of gussets in this to accommodate for the thickness of things. So just got this backing part right here. And just put that in the pocket. You've got a nice little notepad. It's going to stay in place there. It's not longer than the book. Okay, then we've got some cute little tags cut from the other pieces that can go right in there. First, let's glue some stuff together. All right, so we're gonna put line of glue right up to here. And you wanna be really sparse with your glue because it will seep. So while that's drying, we've got our tags and our notepad to put in it. Let's look at some of the embellishments that we're gonna add to this. Got a whole bunch of embellishments. All right, we're gonna do a little altered paper clip. So both of these pieces are, this is one and a half inches wide by, oh, I gotta measure, five inches. And this one is a little narrower. This one is one and a quarter inches wide and it is four inches. You remember that little bird I pointed out before that was just kind of sitting there. I wanted to feature that little guy, so cute. All right, so we're gonna take this one, thread it through the bottom of this large gold paper clip. You can use silver, use what you have. I really like the gold. You can buy these on Amazon. All right, and instead of having everything line up like that, I've already cut my little dovetail in there, I'm gonna do it offset like this. I'm gonna put a little glue right there to hold it in place. And then we've got this little bird. He's gonna go right on top of this one. And this one I'm gonna just put kind of centered. It's not offset. Just like that. And I'm gonna do the other side here. Okay, still a functioning paper clip. And can put a little flower there. I've got some cream colored ones and some, some, and some light blue ones. This one I wanted to pull away. I think the light blue. Right there. Okay. And then we've got some little flowers and things that we can use on the front. We've got a little to my friend that we can add 
anywhere here we can clip that on as well okay this is normally not when I would go ahead and do this part we're gonna talk about the closure for this usually I would give it a little longer all right so this is a piece of one millimeter elastic just white elastic you can buy this by the roll you can get this on Amazon as well I just went and bought a brand new pair of sneakers and this was the elastic you know they hold the shoes together keep this stuff you guys you can always use it so um, it's very bright white so we are actually going to color it a little bit I just need to grab a scrap of paper and we're gonna take this brown ink And we're just going to tint it a little bit. Just sort of dingy it up, if you will. We don't want it to be quite so bright. And it doesn't have to be fully, fully covered. And you can use any kind or color of ink that you like with this. All right, now the other thing I've got are some beads. And I just went through my stash of beads and I found some that'll fit through that one millimeter. I'm gonna choose some green and some blue. We're gonna just do oops, overhand knot to keep this going. There we go, I just wanna keep these beads on just like that let's do this blue one first all right once again knotting that as close to the end as you can I'm gonna have to slide my knot down a little bit Okay, so it's gonna look like that. You should also make a really nice traveler's notebook because the closure is so easy to get on and off. There we go. All right, you guys, I'm gonna give this a little bit more time to dry and then I'm gonna fill it with all the embellishments and we'll come right back. All right, we're back for our final flip through of our file folder folio. Whew. All right, so you guys, I've added on the cover here a few little flowers. I like to keep them flat, kind of out of the way. I just use my same Cosmic Shimmer glue to attach those. If you're doing this, make sure that you have a way, like I like to put them either at the top or at the bottom so that we have a way to get the closure off so it's not ripping them off. So I put mine at the bottom. Opening our first page, we've got our little clip, a couple more flowers to my friend, okay? And then you open that up. We've got our little pocket here with some of those die cut tags. On the other side of the clip, added another tag, which you could personalize, write a little note on there. We've got tags here, writing just another little die cut, just on the first page of the notepad, notes. Um, more tags here. And here, these are also great places, these pockets, to stick special notes or photos or gift cards or tickets or anything like that. And it's all covered and all put together. As I said, there's different ways to fold this up. I like to do it this way. Whew. So you guys, um, I would love to give this away. I love to give my projects away. So all you have to do in order to have a chance to win this is to like, comment, and subscribe. And then, most importantly, you need to watch the following 
week's video the following Monday to see who the winner is and then you need to email me to claim your prize. I have so many people that do the like, comment, and, and um, the like, comment, and subscribe, but then they don't claim their prize. So please make sure you do that. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really had fun putting together this folio and I hope you give it a try too. We'll see you next time.